Hello ladies and gentlemen, today we've got the honor of talking to Luka Petrovic, the founder of Croatian doom metal band Old Night. So, here it goes guys! The last time we talked was in September of 2017. Your band Old Night released your first album Pale Cloud Irrelevance. Now in 2019 we are waiting for your second album, Fracture in the Human Soul. Before you tell us something about the concept of the album, can you tell us something about the process of shooting and writing the songs and the lyrics for this one? Uh, okay, so the first record came out in 2017. Uh, we started actually working uh, on the second album that in the end came to be known as uh, A Fracture in the Human Soul basically at the same time we finished working on the first one since there is a time discrepancy between recording and releasing records especially when you're young and, yeah. and looking for labels and whatnot so uh, basically when we released the first record we were already working for I think like something like six months on the new one so the process was long <laughs> uh, and uh, but uh, I really liked uh, what we did with the new record because we came together as a unit uh, we became more tight I, I don't think we matured as persons but we matured as a unit as a band okay and we grew tighter and uh, we found out what our strengths are and how to use it. So it was uh, long and it was uh, difficult and at times it was an annoying process but I think uh, everyone appreciates, at least in the band, uh, the extra effort we put in because it was all for the sake of doing a better record. Okay. On your first record you've dealt with themes like the loss of your loved ones, life and death in general and the whole spectrum of human emotions. What can we expect on your second album? Uh, lyrically, well, it's basically an extension of what I started with all night. Uh, it's more or less uh, an autobiographical band. <laughs> It's about you. No, it's not about me, but uh, uh, I'm kind of a writer. I don't know how to write about things that I haven't experienced or I don't know. So I'm writing uh, about uh, situations, emotions and uh, things that happen in my life. Sometimes they're portrayed in, I don't know, different styles and what, whatever, but they're always uh, about something that I really did experience mm -hmm. because that way it feels like heartfelt and it feels honest so it's uh, really easier for me to write about so conceptually uh, it has a different flow than the first record uh, it's not uh, I know we're not jumping from team to team like we did on the first record I think it has a, a different flow mm -hmm. since it's uh, the, uh, the concept is uh, was to write a record that's uh, meant for an LP, so it has sides, and the, the lyric and the music theme follows the sides. So the first two songs uh, have one concept, and mm -hmm. then they transcend into the second part of the record or the second part of the album, and uh, they have another flow. And I think we managed pretty well to do it. Well, <laughs> I agree, definitely. Uh, the cover of the new album is quite interesting. It uh, shows the two sides of human soul, I would say. Uh, it's quite different than the first one, which was more like dark and horror themed. Can you tell us who is the author, author of the cover and what can we expect on the new album? Because there are more covers inside uh, the booklet. Yeah. Well, the cover artist uh, for the second one is the same as for the first one. Uh, his artist name is All Things Rotten, but his real name is Andrei Bartulovic from Croatia, and he's a really great artist. So, a fun fact, 
concerning the first album, uh, both of us are really, really old school uh, horror fans, so the complete uh, concept of the first record was actually from uh, a horror movie from the 70s. <laughs> okay. And everyone, uh, I think it was the 70s, and everyone that saw the movie actually knows what the concept is about. But for the second record, we wanted to go more. Uh, I know if modern is uh, the right way to say it, but in a completely other technique mm -hmm. to uh, basically ju just jump out of the classical doom metal themes. You know? So he did uh, the cover artwork, he did the alternative, alternative artwork for the alternative editions as we have both the jewel case and the A5 digging mm -hmm. pack. So, and he also did the, the whole the booklet design, which actually features individual artworks for all the songs. Mm -hmm. How did you come to an idea like that, to do artwork for every song of the album? <laughs> well, actually, I grew up on uh, bands that had actual budgets from labels and stuff like that, so uh, the, the labels actually paid for artists to do concept artworks. And uh, I really like those old records that uh, had a visual representation of each and every song. And uh, I proposed him the idea, I think it was a year ago, that uh, I want to do it for the next record. Then we started doing it, I think, it was maybe even more than a year ago now. So we were working on it for quite a few months. We had like uh, different concepts, different techniques and stuff like that. And we ended up what, what you will see inside the city. I can't wait to see that. Uh, and of course you will be promoting your new album. Where and when can we see Well, uh, the concert promotion will start this summer. So okay. uh, we will wait. Uh, for a few months to see how the record will work or <laughs> if it will speed enough and uh, for the actual the first two uh, videos to get some air time and then we'll start this summer uh, we'll do the first concert ever in Italy in nice. August we'll uh, have the first actual uh, a festival appearance in Italy, but we'll keep secret oh, for right. a while. Yeah. <laughs> and then, actually, uh, in the autumn, we'll start with the classical uh, concert uh, promotion. We'll start in Croatia, in Rijeka, obviously. And that's our hometown. We'll start on my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> nice! <laughs> yeah. and so it's going uh, to be a quite nice party, yeah. I would say. <laughs> yeah. And then we'll go, we have like grass and stuff like that in Austria, but uh, I think it's too early to speak of it now. Alright, speaking of videos, we are expecting your second video for the song Elder. Please tell us something about the shooting, the atmosphere, the process. Uh, the, okay, the, the director of the video is the same as, as uh, the director of the, our first video, Architects of Doom. Basically, she did even our third video, we'll talk about it, obviously of later, course. <laughs> but uh, her name is Kristina Barišić from Rijeka. Uh, she did an excellent work uh, as far as, as the shooting goes. We did it in Teatro Fenice. It's, it's basically a, a ruined theater house slash uh, cinema from, from the beginning of the last century. Uh, it's been basically abandoned or left to ruin for the last 20 years or something yeah. like that. Uh, we fortunately got the permission to film that. Uh, we did the whole live performance there. Uh, as far as the recording of the storyline, we did it in the opera house that's actually below mm -hmm. the theater house. I think that no one entered there for the last at least 10 years. It was really cold, it was awful, but uh, uh, it looks really good. It's to do metal. Yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you Luca for this wonderful conversation. Uh, we'll be seeing you in Rijeka on your promotion and we'll be talking soon, I'm sure. Thank, thank you. you. Bye.
Bye.